Hello fine babes! Welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time stopping by, you are most definitely welcome. As you can see from the title of the video, we are going to be chit-chatting and at the same time curling our hair and also talking about our second trimester. Like, if you've seen the first trimester, go ahead. If you haven't, the link will be in the description down below or it's going to be link right here at the top. And you can watch our first trimester video. And today is going to be, we're going to be talking about our second trimester, which was quite fun and interesting because we got to know some little, little bits about ourselves and our baby. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. You all know I'm not going to be telling you if you can learn how to call your how to call your week while it's on your head on this video that's a plus to you but if not I have a very detailed coiling tutorial on my channel and I'll link that as well down in the description box below or link it right here and you can go ahead and watch on how to call your hair but there also I mentioned on the products which I use and they haven't changed okay so let's go ahead and get started now in this video we're going to be revealing the gender of the baby so stay tuned till the end to know what gender we are having <laughs> first um let's talk about it Listen, I don't know how God engineered us women, but he definitely gave us the strength and the grace and everything in between to be able to bring forth or carry forth a whole being inside of us. But tell me, the tenderness is real and it has not changed till now, okay? Uh, I think it was also due to the fact that I had a low hemoglobin my hemoglobin was really really low okay my hemoglobin was really 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 low so i think that contributed i think that contributed to my tiredness yeah so i think that um the, the low hemoglobin contributed to my tiredness i'm on iron pills but mm, i'm still tired i'm not even going to fuss the tired is tired my tired is tired okay Second of all, baby girl, baby girl loves food, okay? I can eat for Africa. I literally don't still have any cravings. I don't have any cravings. I don't have money sickness. I don't have any of those stuff. Yes, so I don't have any money sickness. I don't have any cravings, if, that, if I can say so, but I eat. Like, I'm telling you, I, I will eat. Like, give me anything that is nice and yummy. Um, of course, I'm very picky when it comes to selling food, but my inheritance, West Africa, Cameroon, every food from that place, I will eat it. And everything that's also nice, I will eat. So yes, I eat and eat and eat, okay? We'll talk about the weight gain on my third trimester. I think that that one will leave it to third trimester and see how much we've gained throughout nine months of being pregnant. Now, I know some people do have um, on diet, um, like the food don't digest well, they do have regurgitation, vomiting and all of that stuff. Me personally, I don't. I don't have that. What I actually have is like, I had a chest burn once and that thing hurts, okay? I, I, I can just imagine those that have it constantly. I had it once and it hurt and I think I had to drink milk to help calm me down calm the pain down but i do do regurgitate now okay like actually even if i don't eat a lot but if i eat and somehow my stomach or my the belly whatever it's sitting right here and i'll tend to be burping and the food is coming out of me oh my god at this point i don't know which is worse vomiting the food or regurgitating it and unable to vomit you get it and now sleep like 
baby girl is tired okay and any activity I do after that put me to bed like I want to sleep but the thing is sleeping is so uncomfortable sleeping is so uncomfortable I got the maternity pillow to help me sleep and I love it now every I have um, my friend that don't like the maternity pillow because she said it's useless to her and she rather used other pillows but I use the maternity pillow and I love it and sometimes my husband we when I'm like at work or something I come back he uses it to sleep and he's like this is the best pillow ever like oh cool that feeling is not for you <laughs> But yeah, but I have a hard time sleeping. Like when I get to finally get a comfortable comfortable position and sleep, it's like, oh my god, don't wake me up, don't call me, don't do anything. Just let me sleep. Cause it takes me a minute to sleep. And I'm getting to that point where I am like having insomnia. So yeah, so when I want to sleep, please let me sleep. Okay? Please let me sleep. Um, also, another one is, you can see already, you can see my neck, you can see from my video sometimes, how dark my face and my neck is becoming. Like, can we have that discussion? Can we have that discussion of hyperpigmentation during pregnancy? Like, it's crazy. And, <clears throat> I'm still trying to figure out a perfect skin routine whereby, when I'm, when I give birth, my skin color is going to come back without making my skin look like crazy. I don't have acne, which I'm very, very grateful for, very, very thankful, but the hyperpigmentation is hyperpigmenting, like, jokes aside, like, really, really pigmenting. So it's, and sometimes it's uncomfortable, but at the end of the day, or rather the hyperpigmentation, I'd rather have the hyperpigmentation than to have acne, if that makes sense, okay? Now, there's this thing called mommy brain. <laughs> okay, if you know, like my friends will tell you, Dominica forgets a lot. I, I have problem remembering stuff. Not like extensively, but in a certain way, like I do forget stuff. But this mommy brain and this pregnancy thing brain, whatever brain it is when you're pregnant, mine, I feel like mine is worst now because normally I'm, I'm already like that person that forgets now it's like on a different level it's bad that let me tell you I'm telling myself I need to stop going to the kitchen because I will literally forget the pot on the fire or I will forget the oven on I will forget stuff forget to turn off the water from the faucet at work sometimes I will forget the name of my patients <laughs> It is that bad my sisters it is that bad okay and now you can hear from my from my um my voice yes I have a flu right now okay I'm recovering from a flu I'm recovering from a flu but let me tell you something this thing called shortness of bread without even the flu was on a different level when I had the flu it was like I was wheezing that's how bad it is but I'm getting really short of breath. Actually, when I walk, I walk or I'm doing some kind of exercise. No, I don't even exercise. So <laughs> I'm doing some kind of, I don't know, something. You know, talking to, I get short of breath. Like, it is that bad. It is really, really that bad. This, this, this quite is not quite, but we'll move. Um, yeah, it is really that bad. So, I am just here like, ah, let's move on, hold up, let me get this together, when I just, um, I didn't mention it during my first trimester, but I did have um, placenta preview, if you don't know what placenta preview is, I will put the description right there, I had that when I just went for my very very first ultrasound during my first trimester and of course we Africans thank God for my mother and my my darling mommy um, we prayed about it I prayed about it my husband and I prayed about it and it resolved on its own 
the Lord is good all the time and by the time I even before I even enter second trimester it has resolved and now my placenta is at the back so let me tell you when I started feeling those little flutters it was feeling like butterflies okay and then now I feel the kick sometimes it's ticklish I low-key love it like I look I low-key love to know when he's moving like it, it's really, you know, and um, let's say when your placenta is also at the back, you feel the movements and so on. I love it. Like, I, I, I low key love it. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything that I low key love it. So, yeah, I think I love it. So, yeah, so he's moving. Sorry. So, the baby is, um, it's like moving right now. Like, he's. The baby is moving right now and when when um, the baby moves I can feel it and it's so it's ticklish sometimes it's fun but when the baby goes and sits like right under my ribs so it's pushing over my rib cage or whatever is whatever the baby thinks they are doing over there that one is not fun I have to pinch it press it to go to down and then sometimes the baby will want to sit somewhere around this my left area and I'll have this pain eh and I have this um it's called saccad I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right I'll put it right here it's called saccadic pain which is normal but that pain is paining like ah mm, ah, mm, mm, mm. ah it's paining like one time I was traveling I was at the airport and it caught me and when it happens especially on my left side I cannot walk it's like my leg my left leg just gives up like it's hurt but of course there's nothing they can do about it all i can do is just stay still and wait till the pain subside or push him a little push the baby a little bit and let let the baby move to another direction okay this coin in there let's call this one again Ah, let me tell you, first of all, let's ignore the weight gain because that's just something that nobody can prevent, okay? As some people are good, some people, you know, they don't gain weight when they're pregnant, they're good. Some of us we have, we've gained great weight and that's okay, but we're in a baby, so give yourself some grace. Alright, honey, give yourself some grace. And then, you know, there are also things like um, stretch marks. If you like me, I'm somebody that did not have boobs before. Like my boobs were small, okay, small. Now with pregnancy, they're huge. So guess what comes with it? Stretch mat, cause my skin is stretching, and I can't stop that from happening. It is what it is. You get, yeah. So that is one thing with that, and then um. Buy maternity clothes because of all the changes is not I'm not that person I'm not buying no maternity clothes I'm sorry I don't have one maternity clothes if I really need something I really want to wear it I'd rather go a size up on that fit than to buy a maternity outfit I might be wrong but let me know but that's just personal preference I don't like it I don't like it okay so I mostly wear like stretchy clothes and stuff like that for my maternity fits but I don't buy maternity fits okay let, and let me know in the comment section if you want me to do like my maternity outfit like what I normally typically will shop or wear during this time of my pregnancy because I actually don't shop a lot honestly because I feel like that's worth it of money if I'm not going to wear it after I get pregnant because I don't really know what my weight is right now okay yes yes we are officially done coiling our hair let me just pray some hairspray and i'm going to loosen the coils with my hands but as i do that i wanted to say that 
so second trimester we finally get to do our anatomy scan which that tells you the gender of the baby <laughs> So we got to do that and I was super excited about that one. So I did plan my um, gender reveal, but my gender reveal was virtual and I did literally everything by myself. My husband helped me. We did our minimal decoration. We I got the stuff from Amazon, everything. So let me know if you really want to see um, a breakdown of how we did it. How I went about it let me know down in the comment section below but um, we did our virtual gender reveal I'll show you like a clip of it right here and we got to know the gender of the baby and who wants to guess what the gender is going one going two going three <laughs> we are having a like a short clip of some of my friends and my family that sent me clips when I told them about it and I told them send me a clip and tell me what, what do you think it is you know tell me what you think it is and <laughs> this is what they had to say and it was so funny and I was super excited personally I really wanted to have a boy my husband wanted to have a boy and it's so so fulfilling that God granted our request of course if we had a girl, I would have been a little bit heartbroken, but at the end of the day, it's like God gives you what you need, not what you want, okay? As much as I wanted the boy, he gave me what I needed, and that is of utmost importance to me. And I know that there's nothing he will give to you, and he will take it back, or he will make you feel like... You're not worthy of this, okay? He gives it to you, he gives you the grace, he gives you the peace, he gives you the joy, he gives you the excitement, he gives you everything in between the fulfillment, okay? When it's from God, there's a difference when it's from God and when it's from men or from yourself. If you don't know that, know that today. So yeah, so baby girl, I was happy, very, very happy. But yeah, I really like how my head turned out. This week, actually, let's take a little break. This week is one of the weeks we have on our website. It is our, you see, that's the mommy brain going. That's the mommy brain going where I cannot even tell you <laughs> what the name of the week is. This is crazy. Brownie. This is Brownie and she comes, personally right now she is a 18 inch brownie and um yeah she can be straightened from this video you're gonna see right here she can be one straight and right now i just added some coils on her and i'm loving it okay i'm loving it anyways the coils are very loose so by the end of the day it's going to look i feel like i like it better by the end of the day yeah anyway so yeah so we having a boy and it's super exciting about that any questions <laughs> you want to come say hi to the camera <laughs> my camera this is uh, your entity butter no hello come and see my my my, my darling husband is this on youtube yes <laughs> no i come 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 say hi this video is not going on anytime soon, so don't be Say hi to them. Bend down. Am I supposed to stoop? Stoop, stoop. Don't sit on me. Just stoop. Come on, come on. This is M Cube's <laughs> Papa. Give me F Cube. Alrighty. Hey, fine babes, thank you so much for tuning in once more in this video. We truly appreciate the love, the support, and everything that you guys have shown us throughout the start of this year. It is so, like my heart is so filled with gratitude. I want to say thank you. And I want you to not like if you're just clicking on this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Like, okay, and leave us a comment down below on videos that you would love to see when it's 
pregnancy related, hair related, fashion related, beauty related, whatever it is, we would love to, you know, do that. And that's why we're here. Without further ado, enjoy and have a blessed week, day ahead of you. Bye.